News First, face to face with Shalom Benedict. Hello there, very good evening and welcome to another episode of Face to Face. Joining us this evening on Face to Face is a Senior Attorney at Law, uh, Mr. Vijay Bandara. He's a member of the Lawyers Forum of the National People's Power Movement. Uh, a very good evening, uh, Mr. Vijay Bandara. Welcome evening. to the show. So, first things first, um, these days really the talk of the town is about this debate uh, between the leader of the opposition, leader of the Samagi Janabala Vege, Sajid Premadasa, and the leader of the National People's Power Movement, Andhra Kumara Disanayaka. Uh, what's the progress? Today there was a statement from Nalin Bandara, who is um, of course organizing the debate on behalf of the SJP. I think Dr. Dalim Tijatissa is organizing the debate on behalf of the uh, NPP. Um, will this debate really happen or is, is this just another you know, friendly case of banter? No, no we, we, we are ready to liaise with people and we also we are ready to face our opponent and we have very clearly expressed uh, Andhra Kumar Dishanayaka himself and uh, he said that he has appointed uh, Nalinda Jaitis uh, mm. to coordinate it. So mm. we have clearly expressed our readiness. Mm. So uh, once the uh, background works and ground works are set in motion, it will happen this hmm. time, definitely. So, this sort of a debate between presidential candidates, has this ever happened before in Sri Lanka? As far as my recollection is concerned, it has not happened so far. And also, this kind of debate, basically, kind of intellectual debates. Hmm. You know, we have seen number of TV shows and all that, some irresponsible utterings are there hmm. by either side. Hmm. Uh, but if this type of debate is being held, you, there is no room for such things, hmm. no room for wasting of time, you have to address the real issues. Hmm. For that, we are ready. In fact, it is maybe basically intellectual debate and also how to meet what are the current needs of the society. Hmm. On those lines, we are fully ready to meet any of our opponents who are going to be contenders at the forthcoming presidential election. Hmm. So, uh, would the National People's Power Movement also be open to debate with maybe other candidates or is it is it just a one-off uh, no, with no, the SJP? We, I mean, we, when it's come to democratic election process, we have to face the people. If there are any contenders, we are ready to meet any contender hmm. based on their caliber. We also introduce our own uh, participant to such a debate. Hmm. Well, these debates among presidential candidates, uh, although just like you said, uh, I, I, I too can't uh, really remember any a time uh, during the past elections where the main candidates, the presidential candidates, got on stage and debated their policies. Uh, this is not a new thing to the world. I mean, in the United States, they have their the caucus elections, they have their debates, uh, town hall debates, so on and so forth. But why has this not happened in Sri Lanka? And, and do you think that this, these kind of debates becoming, you know, a precursor to an election is, is, is a positive uh, move here in the country? Of course, this, if debate is going to uh, be held, it is very much positive thing. Uh, <coughs> if you I answer the question why it has not happened, mm -hmm. that is why we are there right now today. Mm -hmm. We are in a very uh, bad situation economically, uh, governance-wise and all other s sectors. Mm -hmm. We are in a very bad situation. Why that's happened? We did not speak or we did not act according to what the people requires, what people demand. Maybe very high expectations are given hmm. to the people at an election. Uh, very beautiful manifestos are being drafted and uh, distributed among the people, but none of the, those have been worked according to their letters. Hmm. That is the reason that we have people lost expectation hmm. during the last 75 years. So, we, people have seen this kind of thing. Hmm. I think if we are going to have a debate, it should be a different debate. Hmm. So, today, uh, speaking at a, at a media briefing, uh, Mathis Sanayaka from the Samagi Janabala Vege said that there is a lack of clarity about uh, what the NPP's plan is or what the NPP's policies are for the country. He said that the Samagi Janabala Megia has made it clear, have made their policies clear, but there is a lack of clarity as to how the NPP uh, would uh, you know, move, move Sri Lanka's economy forward and, and even what your relationship or the NPP's relationship would be like with the IMF. So, do you think 
that's true or could you could you clarify that? Uh, it, it is part and parcel, the international relationship also part and parcel of governance. Mm. It is not a novel thing. Mm. I mean, it is not... Uh, no, but, but, but has the NPP made your stance clear? On what? On, on, on the economic plan for Sri Lanka and uh, also what your relationship would be like with the International Monetary Fund because the allegation from the SJB right now, uh, given the core context of this debate, is that there is no clarity. They're saying that there's no clarity in the stance of the NPP. We haven't been in governance seat during past. Mm. And we have been advocating our policies and our strategies. Mm. And it will be more fully explained in coming days. Mm. Those elections are now getting closer. Mm. And then by word that we have not explained our position is not truth. Mm. And we are asking power to govern mm -hmm. and all so to remove the, all the misdeeds mm -hmm. that had been occurring during past 75 years which has resulted mm -hmm. in the fate that we are faced today mm -hmm. and uh, when it's come to IMF yes we also have a plan mm -hmm. to deal with IMF though I am not represent the economic council of the NPP mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer mm -hmm. but I can say with my knowledge so we, we have clear plan, but that what is the difference between that plan? Now is JB and UMP are no different parties. No, they were one party, and they were divided because of the fact that Mr. Ranil Vikramasinghe's leadership was not accepted by the others, hmm. and then they believe that they could not win uh, for with, about thirty years. Yes, yeah, with Ranil Vikramasinghe, they had experience losing twenty nine odd elections hmm. continuously. So that is their own problem. Other than that. UMP and SJB, they do not have any different policies or different heads to this thing, hmm. right? But when it comes to NPP, we have already expressed to the people, we have an economic council, we have a team of lawyers, we have a team of university intellectuals. So, teams have been already published. Hmm. And and they are deliberating the proper plan. Mm. When it comes to the declaration of manifestos, certainly do not get uh, panic at this juncture. Definitely it will be disclosed to the public. Mm. And we have shown that we have enough people to run this country, not according to the way that so-called Tattu Marukame or the way the UMP, SLFPO, they join together, various coalitions are formed. Mm. That is what we have been experienced during past. Mm. So our governance system will not be such. Mm. Our governance system is first we will ensure good governance system, the one law for the country, no room for bending of laws. Mm. Even the rulers, the ministers, presidents, cabinet and the all government officials are subject to law. Mm. That is the uh, system that we are going to introduce. Mm. Any of those other parties, hmm. whether it is SJB or UMP, they cannot speak such from their mouth. Hmm. They are part and parcel and they are accountable for bending laws. Hmm. When they are in opposition, they make certain allegations and their people are being investigated. Hmm. When you go to government, cases are dropped. Hmm. I mean, none of those allegations can be directed against NPP or its uh, people. Hmm. None of administrative malpracticing allegations are directed against our people. So they have partial because the, uh, the NPP has never really, or the JVP has never really been in government. Yeah, we have been in politics since 1994 hmm. in democratic hmm. politics. So we have been there, but hmm. that, that, that is a very clear thing. So uh, likewise other uh, parliamentaries who are ex senior parliamentarian, everybody has certain allegation and people believe that. So, mm. I mean, th there are none against us. Mm. That also show our credentials that we will, we are in a position mm. and we are capable to ensure good governance system to this country. Mm. Recently speaking, uh, I think to lawyers in Anuradhapura, uh, President Ranil Vikram Singh has said that it's now time for all political parties to come together, discuss, come to a consensus on how uh, we as a country should move forward and proceed in that direction. Um, do you think uh, that the NPP would be amenable to that request? Consensus is required, democratic consensus is required, foremost condition for that is democratically elected government. Mm. That is the consensus. Now, if you, since you refer that uh, President Ranil Vikram Singh was addressing a group of few lawyers in 
अनुराधपुर ही सेट मामा में आवे स्वादीन आप एक सके को हैटी है तादा देन नेक्स्ट डे ही वेंट तू कैंडी आई मीन दिस इज पैथेटिक नेक्स्ट डे ही वेंट तू कैंडी एंड ही वाज बेगार्ड इन साजिस फॉर डिवाइडिंग यूएमपी इनटू टू पीसेस व्हाट इज हिस पॉलिसी इज दिस द वे इज ही एक्सपेक्टिंग पीपल तू बिलीव एनी मोर द मिसलीडिंग स्टेटमेंट he said in our rather you can tell it us hmm. i'm much very much competent he said mama dawe swadina paksya i, I, I do remember i do remember and also next day if you see your own news hmm. he was blackguard in sajit addressing pew group of uh, umps and say that rajit is responsible to division of unp hmm. so you all come with me we, i will get them so what is his statement now what that this is the uh, problem we are faced with now if you have done good and if you have good deeds during your past you don't have to struggle as to whether you get your nomination for the presidential election or not hmm. now what happened the other only the party that can clearly say that this is our nominee is npp only andra kumar sanak will be contested hmm. now uh, mr anil vikram singh is not certain whether he will get nomination or whether he will be contesting because he doesn't have a party have being in politics for more than 40 years now he has lost his party why so he is still the leader of the united national party yes but you know uh, what is united national party and where it stand in the democratic forum today hmm. why that so then uh, even port to they are not certain hmm. whom they are going to put presidential election contest hmm. and when it come to sjb also hmm. mr vikram singh and sjb saying that we have same policies one of us should contest others should support so all are in uncertain terms but mm. not npp we are very much certain that we are contesting and who is the person contesting and rogmar disanayak and we have not lost trust of the people mm. all other parties this is very pertinent factor to be considered in the forthcoming months that so we have not trust with the people we have been working with the people and now people have after argale gradually come to a situation that people think more than previous elections times hmm. the menace that we have faced because of this so called tattumaru kramya same people two or three parties hmm. same heads they always change election by election hmm. creating you remember nine, uh, 2015 mr maitri pal sirisena was in the plans introduced to contest hmm. he didn't have a plan to contest nobody hmm. knew that whether he is going to be president or not hmm. in the plans put and then uh, ex president chandrika kumar tung and mr ranil vikram always had agendas or manifestos or understanding behind the door hmm. what is going to be do after the after mr vikram uh, sirisena elected hmm. people were not made aware about that when Gota Bay Rajapaksa suddenly introduce. Hmm. This is the candidates. Hmm. They have not been in politics hmm. even for a year. By the time they were, yeah, I think Maitri Pal Sirisena was in politics for quite a while. He was in time. politics. Politi sorry, I am referring to Gota Bay Rajapaksa. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So then, I mean, it is not the case when it comes to NPP. So we have been in politics in 1994. We have been contesting, and we have been. maintaining our position very clearly we are not against any people's day to day conducts so there are certain myths have been spread by our opponents that we are against we take all the properties and all that those are nonsense hmm. we will govern plus ensuring exemplary governance system this country hmm. plus ensuring allowing people to believe that not only the subject always those who are in positions are governed by law that mm. is our motto mm. so moving forward um, there is a bit of uncertainty on 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 when this election will be held or as as to the date and and which uh, debate uh, i beg your pardon not the election the debate uh, and and which debate would come first because now I, i believe the initial agreement was to have a debate between the two leaders but now the sjb is saying that first uh, we need to debate between the economic Uh, councils of the two parties uh, any any thoughts on that we are ready to both i mean uh, there should be some party who come forward to facilitate this debate hmm. so if those conditions are fulfilled 
we are ready for a debate leader versus leader or economic council versus economic council. We are ready for both. Hmm. Uh, well, moving forward now, you said that uh, one of the principal items on the agenda of the NPP is to ensure, you know, one law across the entire country. Uh, and also, uh, chief among your promises is to bring to book all those who have stolen money from Sri Lanka are involved in corruption, misappropriation, and some of the cases that have been dropped over the past few years. Now, uh, this promise of, of bringing corrupt people to book of uh, to you know uh, serve justice on them has been made on several previous occasions at, at many elections before uh, what makes you confident that the NPP can deliver uh, given the current justice system also in the country because one fact that everybody acknowledges and knows is the fact that there are massive laws delays so why do you think that the NPP can you know bring these people to book and and serve justice to the people uh, for them, you know, misappropriating funds and being corrupt. Yes, Sassin's explanation to that, hmm. Salan, is that we are not entering into any coalition with the people who have been in the governance system during past. Hmm. That is, we are genuinely believing we want to achieve this. Okay. All the failures can be attributed hmm. because one side people cross so other side same set of people govern mm. then you are, you can draft a manifesto but you cannot achieve that because same people run mm. culprit are also with you mm. even the yahpal government or gotabe rajapas government same set of people crossing over and getting ministers for the fellows and all that so you cannot expect to impose the law to the letter Hmm. So, we are very much concerned about that. We want to exp impose the law to the letter. Therefore, we do not want any germs inside our camp. Hmm. That is the very reason that we are not getting involved with any past people in a coalition to form a government to, to come into power. What happened during past, they will put up any condition, get together, tie hand with any person irrespective of what their character and they like a wave like Maitri Pal Sena wins or the Gotabe Rajapaksa wins, same sort of people since 1994. So, can you expect same people? So, you are under obligation to people. Mm. That is the reason for system corrupt. Mm. So, we are very much concerned and we have studied that. Mm. Therefore, if any future government who want to impose the law to the letter, hmm. the government should be clean. Hmm. Government should be clean. There can't be any people against whom my investigation being done hmm. when they are in opposition, hmm. when they come to power and become a minister and the NPP. If that is the case, we you cannot expect for much also. Hmm. But our position is very much clear. Hmm. No such persons in our team. Hmm. Therefore, people can trust us that we will deliver the goods once we come into power. Hmm. Another, you know, kind of concern that your opponents raise uh, regarding your, you know, campaign for the election, of course, is the fact that this is no time to experiment. You, know, you yourself said that the NPP hasn't been in power before. Uh, your opponents are using that against you, saying that you shouldn't you don't have the experience that is required to run this country and therefore this is no time to experiment we tried to experiment with gotabe rajapaksa bringing a person completely out of politics into uh, and, and appointing him as the head of state and that experiment failed miserably and therefore now we need to give people who have been in power in the past uh, a chance to fix things in this country and therefore the npp shouldn't be voted in because you have not been in power and you have no experience. To begin with, when it comes to Gotabe, it is not an experiment that country needed or people wanted. Hmm. It was an experiment of the Rajapaksa family, whom they should feel to win, gain power back. Hmm. That is only the experiment. Hmm. So, therefore, we are not experiment as to how a particular family or particular caste bring into power. So, we are sans of any such misdeeds. Hmm. 
therefore we have a team and we have been working for very long time we have been working in various committees in parliament and our hands what we said what we expressed what we predicted always become truth mm. we if, even if you go back to 20 years what we said about this uh, wrong economic policies and how people suffer now so we have predicted that mm. anybody can listen to us and then so we have ability to predict mm. same way we have talents wi with us mm. to address any issues that country face and were experimenting mm. entire experimentation that had been doing during past has been pale mm. now we say uh, we have declared bankruptcy mm. and now we have to deal with imf and various system now at the moment these decisions are be taken by mr ranil vikram singh alone because even the port to say we are not with his policies hmm. port to say hmm. but port to is the party backing mr vikram singh's stability hmm. without port to backing there is no stability at all for mr vikram singh hmm. but every decisions are been taken by mr vikram singh who his loyals hmm. back by port to majority in parliament but there will be serious repercussions because these decisions are not transparent hmm. even this six months do you think that this is a good time to ensure introduce new, new policies to government education system or constitution hmm. electoral reforms is it a good time to do it is it a good time to do it hmm. where are the genuineness lying now recently you know 20th amendment was passed we asked even before your channel who are the drafters Mm. were the advisers not this was very recently education policy had been introduced mm. advisers are hidden mm. mr vikram singh alone saying that this is my policy what is the mandate he is having to do such mm. so therefore this six month is not the time to introduce or launch new programs unless he is motivated by the fact that he want to re elected he is a self claim national leader he says i am the national leader i mean national leader must come from a political party his party was reduced to single seat hmm. what is he talking about national leadership i am not back by whom can anybody think that when mr vikram singh says i am the national leader back by whom none Hmm. even the same people who are backing at the moment during last two years they said we are not with the policies of mr vikram singh then his party on single seat i mean i don't think in a possibility to peel 225 or more candidate to respect to electorates hmm. in an election so hmm. to that level it is reduced but he claim i am the national leader on what basis what is the rationality for him to claim i am the national leader therefore no election should be held or i should be given another 10 years some people say that no hmm. what is rationality how he is a self came national leader and he was given a chance to address crisis when the north is was there hmm. for two years hmm. he miserably failed hmm. that is why people elect another government mr mahindra rajapaksa achieved some something hmm. and he conclude the trouble that the entire country was facing so he fell even other times he couldn't hold his powers for complete duration that he is elected hmm. in 90 in 2015 he became a prime minister under the cover of president sirisena who won the election hmm. was it mr vikram singh no it was mr vikram mr sirisena hmm. so he came behind mr sirisena so his decision his team had been rejected and after argale he was elected to manage the crisis of rajapaksa family not country's crisis management hmm. he is the manager of crisis manager of rajapaksa family he looked up the rajapaksa family up to date very well hmm. without any trouble now he claim i am the national leader please think on what basis we can call him as a national leader hmm Well, of course, um, we're in the run-up to an election, and all these candidates, including the candidate from the NPP, the SJP, and even the UNP and the SLPP, will have to come before the people. And the people, 
will have to decide who they are going to trust with their future, with the future of their children, and the future of the entire nation. Thank you very much, Attorney Atlovich Bandara uh, from the Lawyers Forum of the National People's Power Movement for joining us on our program this evening. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much to all our viewers out there for tuning in to another episode of Face to Face. Until we meet again, take care and God bless.